Hi folks, it's Mr. Diggs out of McCarthy Park and Papa, promoters of amateur and professional arenas. And this is a baseball bat used in America's pastime sport. Baseball's been around for a long time. We all know this. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole today. As abilities go, hitting a ball with one of these things is the hardest thing to do in sports. Nobody denies it. Eye-hand coordination and speed is needed. Reflex. Muscle memory. You practice, you do drills many times, and you compete with one another to make the teams. They have twitch muscles. These things are not hard to develop, but once again, you need tenaciousness to make the team and compete on a daily basis. So, excuse me, folks. In practices, there are lines drawn all the time. There are positions made and people, players, make those positions happen. On a professional level, some players have backups and some players can do two or three things very well. Some professional people actually can do two or three sports very well. That is not the rabbit hole I'm going down today. Today, I am mentioning a gentleman out of Chihuahua, Mexico. His name is Mario Mendoza, Manny to some people. Mario started in 1970 in Major League Baseball. He played in 686 games and 1,337 at bats in nine seasons. None of that is why He's important to this day. To this day, he is known for the Mendoza line. The Mendoza line is a batting average, folks. 200 to make the team. Sometimes he went above it for two or three seasons. But four or five out of those nine, he struggled on his own Mendoza line. There's one other player just a bit outside. His name is Bob Euchre. You should ask Charlie Sheen about him. With that, Bob Euchre played in six seasons and had 297 games and 731 at bats. And his batting average was worse than Mario Mendoza's. A lot of people think that the Mendoza line should be called the Euchre line. Bob Euchre made the team all the time. Pretty much as a backup. As these things go around, would I love to see a baseball stadium, minor leagues being played over in Ukraine? Absolutely. Boys and girls playing baseball and softball over in Ukraine? Absolutely. It's an easy thing to do. These lines are not hard. Once you start competing, they get more difficult. Thank you, folks. God bless. Slava Ukraine.